How's it going, everyone? It is Drago. We are back with another chapter of Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest, Chapter 83 Mimi the Immovable. The cover page for this week has Lucy on it, and uh, I quite like this cover. She looks like she's either doing figure skating, which she doesn't have like blades on the back of her feet, so or gymnastics, which I'm gonna say it's probably gymnastics, but it could be either or. And then she's got her fleuve du toit, uh, the whip that Virgo gave her. Uh, at first, I thought with water and i'm like wait what but then i'm like oh that's her whip and i'm like we haven't seen that in a while she does use it actually later on in this chapter spoilers for that but uh yeah like we never get to see her use her whip the caption on the front says she's slick and smooth like water so uh juvia might uh, want to contest that but you know honestly like this cover kind of reminds me like they're doing the uh F miss fairy tale pageant like kind of like lucy would do this as a like thing in a pageant to try and win points so going into the actual chapter this whole chapter is just a lucy and mimi's fight you you don't even get to see gray fighting haikun at all uh so the first little shot of the chapter you just get lucy and Mimi staring each other down which I will say Mimi does the weirdest of things because she immediately just crouches down and you know starts bowing and saying okay I'm sorry I underestimated you please forgive me and Lucy's just like this chick's weird like I mean it's not necessary for you to apologize to me but like she is weird which uh this kind of causes the opposite effect of what Lucy wants because uh her sitting there apologizing for underestimating her makes her go super saiyan and she starts powering up saying she's gonna use her full power and apparently uh her full power is so strong enough that it causes her to levitate and it doesn't even make sense but she's like through sheer willpower i shall float which i guess she must have finished powering up because she goes immediately for a punch she calls in an immovable fist but then the second she says it she's like wait a second i forgot to put my name in front of it so mimi immovable fist which again dang because this sends lucy really flying back so much so that even her clothes start to rip uh the second she gets punched by that like that's how much force she got sent back which is kind of interesting we've never actually had anyone do this um lucy you know as she's flying back she's about to change her star dress and mimi must have caught on to it because she immediately just like hits her midair to cancel her out of calling in another star dress so it's kind of interesting Interesting. So I guess if you hit Lucy when she's trying to change a star dress, you can cancel her out of a star dress. It's kind of because she's in the Virgo one and she was trying to change out, but she got canceled out. So the next few little panels is Mimi just go into town on Lucy. Lucy really, I mean, she kicked her in the last chapter and pushed her back a little bit, but her previous fight, she couldn't really do much of anything. Lucy lands a really, really solid kick on the stomach to Mimi, which it actually does look like she quite literally, like, knocked the wind out of her. I don't, she's not down for the count, but, like, the, it, she had landed a pretty solid hit, which Mimi pulled a Natsu on this because uh, Lucy goes in for another kick and she just grabs the foot and kind of, like, dangles her and then chucks her and gosh Mimi's strength she she just throws her and she's immediately sent flying like so fast and Lucy hits like a rock wall and she shatters that like that honestly normal person probably be dead but she's still like stuck in the rocks and she's like dang she is really really strong and you know Mimi is coming in for the killing punch and like I said earlier, she uses the flu de toit and uh, instead of, you know, wrapping around Mimi, she kind of like wraps it on like a branch, kind of Indiana Joneses it and like pulls herself up. So she doesn't get hit by the punch, which honestly, seeing the punch, she probably could have died to that which it gives lucy some time to actually strategize and she sees some water and since she's been able to summon aquarius and stuff she's like oh it's been a long time since i've done this but she calls out for gate of the water bearer and aquarius aquarius man she doesn't have a problem she's like lucy or lucy she's like please help me and she's like okay you got it like she did aquarius didn't even give her lip like dude the, the relationship's getting real nice now so aquarius you know causes a whirlpool tries to suck mimi into it she does suck her into it and she's like kind of 
drowning a bit, but I'm sure Aquarius has never seen someone crazy enough to do this. She starts drinking all of Aquarius's water, and even Aquarius, you see her face, she's like absolutely shocked. Like, who is crazy enough to drink all this water? Like, do you see how many gallons I made? Which low-key, Aquarius kind of pulls a Naruto slash Juvia because, you know, Mimi's going to punch her, and she's like, okay, you all set, Lucy? And, you know, Aquarius gets punched, and it's like a water clone, which is pretty freaking dope. This is why I said Juvia, because, you know, Juvia's made out of water and stuff, and this is kind of like the uh, shadow clone thing. But she punches the water clone of Aquarius, she completely disappears, and Lucy thanks Aquarius, like, yo, you bought me enough time, and it's Lucy and Gemini doing the Uranometrium, which I guess she she never pulled out uh, Gemini since the Grand Magic Games because, you know, she's still in a swimsuit, <laughs> which this is, again, another cool thing because it's not even Lucy doing the incantation to do Uranometrium. She had Gemini do it while she was kind of strategizing with, like, Aquarius and stuff, so that was kind of cool. She even kind of explains, okay, why didn't you whip out this spell to begin with? And... She's like, you know, the spell is very powerful, but it just takes way too long to do the incantation for, which would be kind of a cool thing is when she gets back to Earthline, she can figure out like kind of sneaky ways to do this, like make put Gemini in the background to do this spell in the background while distracting him. She's doing like Naruto sage mode here. Like she's putting like shadow clones in the background so the, she can do a major spell. So Lucy and Gemini do Uranometrium. Uh, Mimi, she's looking mighty scared. And, you know, they finally finish the incantation. And you get the really nice shot of Lucy hitting Uranometrium on Mimi. Which, good for you, Lucy. She actually one-shotted Mimi, which is kind of kind of dope. Because she gets absolutely obliterated. Which, Lucy must have put everything she had into that one because she immediately kind of passes out. From doing the spell, you know, Gemini's trying to help her out, seeing if she's okay, but she's like, you know, I put everything into that one, but I won. Now, this is where I was like, okay, this is going to be bad, because Mimi starts to stand up, and I'm like, Lucy, she puts so much effort into winning this fight. Please don't have her lose it to Mimi, please. So, you know, she starts standing up. Lucy's like, I'm completely out of magic power. You know, Gemini disappeared, but she starts to notice her standing up, and you can see, like, she's, oh, gosh, dang, no. Like, she, she has such a look of, like, kind of fear and being upset about her just standing up. So Mimi stands up and I guess she says this while unconscious. She says Mimi is immovable. Lucy's just like, no way, man. No, how, how are you doing this? Well, then she's kind of looking at her more and more. And then she realizes, oh, she's passed out, but she's still standing up. Huh, that's crazy. And then she just kind of goes lays down and that's the end of the chapter. Mimi quite literally does a rock lee and, uh, decides I'm gonna pass out while standing straight up but I'm gonna look like I'm gonna still fight but I can't fight and that is the end of our chapter my thoughts uh I liked that this whole chapter was completely dedicated to Lucy and Mimi's fight like we didn't even get to anyone else it was just exclusively on them main thing for me is I need this to stick Lucy I feel like she had a nice showing here she had some nice strategy and stuff like using the fake Aquarius clone and stuff to buy her time to use Uranometrium it was very creative during this fight I want her to have this victory stick like I don't want Mimi to suddenly you know she is standing up but she's passed out but I don't want her to like wake up and all of a sudden like clap Lucy you know what I'm saying have her get this double even though she didn't do a training arc like at least have her have one solid win because I didn't want it to be like Mimi got back up and then Natsu comes to save her no like let Lucy have a win cool how Lucy beat it uh Mimi in one shot uh I like the star dress stuff how she got canceled out of the star dress um it just added more depth to uh Lucy's fighting style and just seeing all that she can do and uh how gemini can do Uranometrium and it doesn't have to be lucy doing it i very much enjoyed this chapter i had a very nice time seeing lucy be very awesome please leave your comments down below what you thought of this dope chapter if you got any video ideas of what you'd like to see leave it in the comments below thank you for watching
And this is Drago signing out.